Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Danny at Danny Portraits on Instagram if you want to check me out for those who are new here. I'm a portrait photographer based in Switzerland and I mostly put my work out on Instagram. So um, I just took a shower so my hair is not on point so don't add me for that. And today I'm trying to edit a photo only in Lightroom because I think most of you don't even use Photoshop and are interested in Lightroom edits. So um, yeah, let's jump right into it. And this is the picture we're working on today. I already did some skin retouching in Photoshop, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna cover up the color grading and everything else here. So this is the typical Lightroom window and I just went from library to develop because we're gonna edit this picture. First off, I'm gonna go through all the panels here. First of all, I would start with the white balance, but the white balance is pretty good here because I already set my white balance on the shoot itself because I like to have control over it and set it manually. Just as aperture, ISO and shutter speed. Then I would raise up the exposure a little bit because this is a kind of dark so about 20 is good or 0 0.2 and then I would and then I would mess around with the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks here. First of all let's start with the shadows to reveal some details in her hair or in the shadows and I would go up about here so you can see everything. I wouldn't go up too much or too high because you're losing contrast by raising up those shadows. Then I would add some whites here to make the light pop on this side. Then I would play around with the highlights to see what's going on there. And I think minus 10 is really good because as you can see here, you're also losing contrast by turning down the highlights. Then I would play around with the blacks here. Let's see. Let's turn it down to add some contrast overall. And this is the before and after so far. This is looking pretty decent. Let's add some contrast here. And about 10 is good because we're gonna adding some contrast in the tone curves later on. Then I would play with the clarity a little bit. Let's see. This is obviously too much. I wouldn't do that. Just add a little bit. About seven is good. But that depends on the picture. I just show you my steps here, what I would do. I actually never edited a, a whole image in Lightroom only. Uh, yeah, let's leave texture here because we can only add the texture on her face later on to add those details and the sharpness. Maybe add some vibrance here to make the colors pop. Um, about 20. 22 looks good to me. Saturation, I wouldn't go too ham here. Also, maybe just add like six. And uh, this is the before and after. Now let's add some contrast to the whole image because in most of the raw pictures, the image is pretty flat and we have to add some contrast back to the picture. So let's do that with the tone curves here. For explanation, on the left side are shadows and on the right side are highlights and in the middle are mid-tones. So if you turn down the curve here on the left side, it would put down the shadow, which means it's gonna darken the shadow. And if you raise it up, it's gonna bring in some brightness in the shadow, so um, you get a faded look. All right, let me demonstrate it. If you bring it up like this, as you can see, the shadows are revealed here, and you're actually not adding any contrast, so I like to turn it down and also raise up the highlights. So you add some contrast in the overall image. And the mid-tones, I would leave it around there. You can also raise up the very left side of the tone curve to add a uh, faded or a moody look, how you want to call it. So you get those faded blacks here. But I'm going to leave it down here somewhere. And uh, this is the before and after, adding some contrast. Maybe this is too much here. Bring it back up. Okay, next one is the HSL panel. Let's see what we're gonna affect if we move around those yellows. Yeah, as you can see, we already have her hair in there. So this is why I don't really like to add it in Lightroom. But yeah, let's see what we can do with the other colors. 
Yeah, we can shift those greens into a yellow look, but I don't like to do that because the model is not popping off the background. So let's bring it back and do something else with the greens. Let's see what we can do with the blues here. Maybe a little tint of science also with the blues here. All right, then I would change to the luminance, adding some brightness in her skin here. Just a little bit. About 15 is good. Yeah, let's see what we can do here with the other colors. Maybe adding some luminance in the blue channel here. About 4 is good. Let's see a before and after, not too much. All right, details is for sharpening. And you can do some sharpening here in Lightroom. I usually use 40 on the amount and on the detail also 40, which doesn't sharpen the image too much. And then I would play with the masking. So you have control over what you want to sharpen and you can hold down Alt to see what you're going to sharpen and then just drag it to the right side until you see all the details in her face and not around her because you want to have more details in her face than on the background itself. Right, lens correction, we can leave that out here. And then we can go to the calibration panel, but this is for something for advanced users. You don't really need to use that, but sometimes I like to play around here to make the colors pop even more. And you can also do the orange and teal look with that panel. All right, this looks kind of natural. Making the colors pop a little bit more. And yeah, so in the original picture I edited in Photoshop, I just made a teal or blue background here, which we can also do here in Lightroom. So let me bring out that adjustment brush here. Uh, you can either click on this little icon or press on K for the shortcut. And then I would paint around here. And yeah, you don't see where you're gonna paint. So press O to see the overlay see where you're painting over and I do a rough painting here around her on the greens just like that maybe here on top also all right that looks good so let's add some hues here and press O to disable the overlay and we can drag this around to color grade it actually so we can do something like that like a blue background which looks kind of cool and yeah, maybe gonna exclude this purple thing here. So uh, hold down Alt, so you get the minus here. And then you can just paint around until it disappears. Because those are already a little bit blue, I think. So let's turn down the flow to about 28. So we can slowly exclude this a little bit here. Like going overboard. And yeah, this looks a lot better. Now we can paint in here. The greens that we missed out on top also turn down the flow a little bit and this looks pretty fine. All right, cool. So we already get that orange and teal look in this picture. Now what we can do is also add another adjustment brush. So if you want to go back to the brush you already um, painted over, just hover over it and you see the mask and then click it and you can adjust it. Now I'm gonna add another one, just press on done or escape, press on K again, and you can do another brush adjustment layer. All right, so now I'm gonna exclude her from the background. So I'm gonna mask over her or paint over her. Yeah, let's turn up the flow again on uh, 200. And I'm gonna paint over her roughly just like that. Yeah, you can do it more precisely, but I'm just gonna show you what's possible here inside of this program. So I do it roughly, but yeah, this is too much here, so I'm gonna exclude this again, holding down Alt and painting over. Yeah, my flow is pretty low, so that's why I'm almost not excluding this mask. All right, now we can press on O again, and I think we're gonna affect her with this brush, so I wanna invert it. Well, I uh, tried to invert the mask, but there's no option in Lightroom. I just found out, so uh, let's delete this brush and brush over the background once again nice light room this is why i don't like light room okay we just paint around her here 
And now what I'm gonna do is press on O again to disable the mask or the overlay. Then I'm gonna take down the exposure a little bit. Also turning down some uh, shadows and some blacks which creates a actual S-curve or maybe add some blacks to make that faded look and yeah just bring down the shadows actually and maybe the exposure a little bit yeah this looks good maybe let's see what we can do with the whites yeah bring it down a little bit also highlights maybe just like that all right let's see a quick before and after before and after so far not that bad only in Lightroom and now I'm gonna add another adjustment brush to brush around her facial details here. Again, press on O to see the mask you're using and then just paint over her whole face here. Or I mean, just paint over her eyes, eyebrows and her nose. All right, press on O again. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, this is too much. I don't think you can like um, zoom in without this panel here. Um, it's actually, it's this one, yeah, this looks good. And now I'm gonna add some texture to make her face appear a little bit more sharp. Just about 38 is good. Oh, this is for all the masks. So this is before and after of the adjustments we did. And yeah, I think this looks really good. I think we can also add a graduated filter here to make a um, fake sun flare coming in. Like that, adding some warmth here. And this should look like the sun is coming from the left side. Maybe play around here. I think this is good. Just adding some warmth. Maybe add some shadows or raise up those shadows. This is not adding shadows. To make it appear a little bit more realistic. Also some whites because the, sh uh, the sun is coming through. And yeah, maybe can turn this into an orange. No, this is too much. Don't, don't add some hues here. Maybe add some warmth and this is already enough. And there you have it. This is a full edit in Lightroom. Yeah, let me know if it was any helpful for you. Usually I edit my pictures in Photoshop because I have a lot more control in it. I don't usually use Lightroom for my edits. As you can see, this was my first approach here without any scripting or anything. I just went aboard and tried to replicate this image, which I edited in Photoshop. Of course, I edited the skin in Photoshop first because it's a lot more reliable and a lot faster for me to do it in Photoshop. So this is actually the final picture I uploaded on Instagram. And as you can see, we get really close here with the, with the Lightroom edit. Not that bad. I hope you enjoyed this one and I also hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for joining and see you next time.